Hi, I'm Magnus. Today I'm going to talk about LR32 from Festo. In the near future I'm planning to build some cabinets and also a workbench with an MFT style top. To do that I got this system. It's a Festo LR32 system. The only thing it does basically is drilling holes in a straight line very accurately with 32mm in between. I've just got the packages and it's the kit and then the, the track. So let's see how it, how it looks when we open the box. Here we go. Here we've got the track. As you can see, we have the whole pattern in here. These holes are spaced 32mm apart. And you're not drilling the hole through this, it's just something to index the kit on. The router is then outside here and driven into the board. When we open the box, you can see first the manual that we'll read later, and then these two, two identical parts. These are used to get the track on a correct distance from the edge of the board you're making the holes on. So you're setting these up at the same distance, and then you bump it up to the front edge, and then attach it to the, the rail, and then you have the exact distance. You have two clamps, clamp down the track onto the piece, and that's recommended. Then you have the actual plate. That's here you attach the router, and these parts are run running on the track. You get a centering bit for centering the router exactly, and then you get two bits, five millimeter bits. One is flat for non-through holes, and this pointer one is for through holes. Then you also get a 35 millimeter bit for Euro style cup hinges. These two parts is something I attach on the end of the track to get the correct distance in that direction. And you also get some, some screws if you're going to use the Festool Route OF 1400, I think. Uh, I think this is designed, this plate is designed for the OF 1010, which I got, so you can just use these knobs to attach it. But the OF 1400 needs to, to add some screws as well. Let's try to set it up. First, we take the track. Then take this part, and that should fit to here. These are, as you can see, this one is an index of the track, the holes in the track. And when you have it in place, you should have it rocking. That's easily fixed with some set screws here and here. Basically, what you do is that you just turn this screws a bit until you get rid of all the rocking. That's it. No rocking. Nice perfectly. There we go. That was the first step. Second step is to calibrate these. Take this part and lock it onto the rail with the knob and use that groove on the plate to calibrate this part. And when you calibrate it, you're going to set the zero onto the zero. We lock it in place. Then we have to loosen the screw. It can rock a bit, but you need to have, have it aligned in that direction. That can be a bit tricky. just hold down on the plate there just because I don't think I have an in some index hole right now so it's tighten and good yep there we go the system is calibrated so 
now we know how far from the front edge we can go. The next part is these two blocks. These are used to get the holes in the right position in that direction. So either you have a 16 or you have a 32 side. That means either get first hole 32 millimeters from the edge or 16 millimeters from the edge. And what you do is that you take a track, take one of these pieces, and depending on which, which measurement you want, you place either the 16 or the 32, up and out. And then you have these two knobs that goes into the, the holes. And then you can use this screw with the turning knob at the end to attach it. And there we go, then you have the stop block. You can butt it right up to the end. You use these parts to get the right distance from there. Then you have determined every aspect of where the holes are going to be. The only thing left is to attach the router to the base plate, and then we can start drilling our holes. So here we got the router. You can see on the how we're going to place it. We do it just like that. We loosen these knobs. And before you do anything more, you take this centering bit and just place it as a normal one. You don't have to tight it very much because it doesn't come to ground with it. And then you get everything in place. And to get it centered, you loosen the knob and get it right in the middle. Lock it. It's not going anywhere. And it's under. So, and now everything is in place. We have calibrated these stops that you get the right distance from the front. I've shown you these blocks to get the right height of the holes. We have adjusted the base plates to the track and we have centered the router onto the, the base plates. The only thing now is to cut up some material and start drilling some holes. Thanks for watching and if you liked the video please press the thumbs up and if you haven't already please subscribe so you don't miss out on the upcoming cabinet projects and MFT style workbench. Uh, for now I'm going to start with the cabinet making and see how this system will work out for me. If you have any tips or tricks, please leave them in the comments down below. Thank you! Bye bye!